On this video, we're actually going to show how to add, uh, do some formulas, and also how to use the autofill function. Uh, I've added the liberty of putting some. We're going to get the average across and the totals down, and I've already put these two cells in, and I'm formatting them as well. Uh, this has to be rather quick because the limit's 100 megabytes. So, first off, we want to get the 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 sum of all of each one of these individual columns going down. So you have to choose a cell where you actually want the result to be. So uh, this is a cell where I want the sum to actually add up and we need to go to the formulas bar and you can usually use a recently used little tab here and sum should be right here at the top near the top. So this is the this is the function to add all the numbers together to get the sum and it actually shows you sum of number one or number two and adds all the numbers in a range of cells. So I'm going to click on that and you notice that it actually comes out and this is the formula. This is where the answer will be and I want to choose a cell. So if I left click, hold and drag this group of cells, you notice how it gives me the number in a range of cells and it actually gives me the total of 98. I want to do C4 through C8. So I click OK. There is my total of all these numbers going down. Okay. On the flip side, we want to get the average over here, and we got to want to get the average all the way across on each individual row as well. This is where I want my result to occur. Once again, if I go to recently used, some should be the average should be near the top because we're getting the average of all those of the one, two, three, four cells, and it gives you the tool tip there that shows returns the average, etc. And I'm going to click on average. And once again, I have to choose the group of numbers I want to choose. I click OK. I want to go C4 through F4. The answer should come out here. Click in OK again. There's my answer. Okay. So now you're thinking, well, I have to insert a formula every time I want to get my average across or my totals down. There's an easier way to do this. Okay. Since we know that this, the same formula is going to be used for each one of these columns as was used here. Okay, So if you click down here where you initially put the formula, down near the right hand side there's going to be a little box. If you left click and hold, when it becomes a crossbar and drag to the right, you now have a light highlighted gray area. What this will do is this will actually input the formula in for all the different, for the three other columns that don't have it at this point. Watch what happens when I let go. Notice now that if I click here, I have the formula the sum of D4 through D8 E4 through E8, the same thing, and also for F4 through F8. So what this does, it actually transfers the formula to each one of these individual columns as well. I can do the same thing for the rows across. This I already have the formula here, and it's average of C4 through F4. I get the little box here, and my little, my nice little uh, uh, cursor here, or triangle, or crosshairs. Left click, hold down, and drag down. Notice what happens. I now have the average for each one of these rows as well. Okay, so that's how you insert some simple formulas. Um, I'm going to go ahead and and stop this video for now, and I'll see you on the next video.